Hi, Melissa Litchfield, back at you with a brand new YouTube video for the Litchfield Media YouTube channel. I'm your host. Again, it's me, Melissa, your go-to person to help you scale and grow your online business through paid traffic and strategic funnels. Today, we're breaking down several softwares that we're going to go behind the scenes in and start placing the meta pixel. This video is going to be an awesome resource for you if you're looking to learn how to place the meta pixel on the back end of Kartra, Kajabi, Rivecart, Lead Pages, and Show It. So we're covering all five different softwares today. All right, welcome to the tutorial. Now we're in the back end of Meta Ads Manager. What I wanted to start here and show you first is essentially where to go to find your MetaPixel, right? So I'm in the back end of one of my um, e-commerce ad accounts. And once you're inside of Ads Manager, you wanna go to the left-hand side to All Tools, and then you want to go to Events Manager. Now, this is assuming that your pixel is already set up and firing and has been collecting data. Now we just need to place it on the back end of our website and various softwares that we're using. So for this example, um, let's just pretend that Oaken Cove is a online business. I mean, it technically is, <laughs> it's just e-commerce. All right, so now you can kind of see the event activity and there's a button here that says add events, new integration, Metapixel, set up, and we want the manually add code to your website option and click get started. Now you'll see this screen, it's basically where you can copy the entire base code of your pixel. In the back end of some of these softwares that we're gonna show, some of them you're required to have a specific um, pixel ID, right? And then some of them you need the entire base code. If you just need the ID, you can go back to data sources and it's this number right here. You can simply copy and paste or you can copy it from the data set ID section here. For the first example, which is Kajabi, you're gonna need to copy the data set ID. So you can just copy this and it'll automatically clip or copy to your flipboard. And once you're logged into Kajabi, there's my face. <laughs> you're gonna go to settings. and third-party integrations. Let me move my face down again. And you're gonna scroll until you see the Facebook pixel. So for this particular example, the Facebook ID is already there and there's an option to get an access token for your conversion API code. So if you have questions about that, specifically for Kajabi, they have a little link to basically explain how you can access that token. Then once you're done, you're gonna click save. And Kajabi is pretty easy. That's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much all you need to do. I will basically let you guys know that for Kajabi, since it automatically like populates the um, pixel everywhere across your Kajabi site, if you are running ads, just be aware that it basically defaults for any form, whether you're sending people to opt into a webinar or a freebie, it's always gonna be the lead optimization event when you're setting up your campaign. So just take note of that. And then for purchase and in initiate checkout, it's pretty much already um, automatically applied across the board. If you wanted to get nitty gritty and actually change the actual base code within Kajabi, you unfortunately need to upgrade. So if you wanted to specify a specific amount in the purchase conversion value within the code, that is not possible unless you upgrade and have the option to edit the code on your pages. Next software that we're gonna go into, the next software we're gonna go into is called Kartra and they have changed some things on the back end. So I actually started my own business on Kartra. So I, I'm still a big fan of Kartra, thoroughly love it. I think it's great for just starting out and you know dipping your toes into funnel building, email, marketing, all that jazz. All right, so on the left-hand side, we are actually gonna go to pages. And unfortunately, there's no way to, you know, globally populate your pixel ID or base code across all pages. 
So what I would recommend is that you basically, you know, like if you're brand new setting up your Kartra account, I would recommend that you are just duplicating like a template or one page that has all of your codes on it. There's a way to edit and basically push changes to all of your Kartra pages. But for this particular video, I'm just gonna show you how to actually place a pixel on the back end of any of your pages. So just as a friendly reminder, for all pages, you do need the base code. For pages that are tracking conversions or specific action, you will need to edit the code and put in that specific optimization for that conversion event that you're optimizing for in your ads. All right, so let's basically put a code on a particular opt-in page. So if you hover over all the pages, you'll actually see these three blue dot icons. You're gonna click on that and then click edit. This is assuming that like you've already started a page, whether it's published or not, you're still gonna have to edit it. So we're gonna click the blue edit button again. All right, and once the page is loaded, you're gonna go to settings, tracking code, and you're going to embed the Facebook ads tracking code right here. So you're just gonna copy the base code, paste it in the embed Facebook ads tracking code. You don't want the pixel code to be in the body and then click apply. For this particular um, example, it looks like my client has their Facebook code in their wrong section. So I'm actually going to update that for them while I'm in here and then click apply. And then publish, I would publish all of your pages. Also double check Kajabi, bring up your site in, in a separate browser. I'll show you how to do that in a second with Kartra. I'm gonna copy this link, hit close, and I'm gonna return to dashboard. I'm gonna open up a new browser, paste in that link. And the Meta Pixel Helper Chrome extension, once the page loads, you're gonna click on the Meta Pixel Helper and you should see your pixel ID and a page view check mark for all pages. If this was a thank you page, I would expect to see a lead conversion event firing as well with a green check mark. All right, so that's important. Hold the phone, you guys. I have a free resource for you. If you're watching this video, you wanna click the link above or below to get this free seven day nurture email sequence template. I even printed it out. It's about 13 pages long. There's specific sections where it's highlighted so you can customize and tweak the template to sound like yourself. That is important. We want the messaging to sound like you, but this template will get you started. It also comes with a 20 minute training from yours truly, mapping out the entire strategy behind building your first lead gen email sequence funnel. And I'm also giving you a free show it landing page template. If you're a show it user, I'm a big fan. So you'll get that too. So click the link above or below somewhere around this video to snag your free copy of the email sequence template, the 20 minute training and the show it landing page template. See you inside. Now we're gonna move into Thrivecart. So this is my personal Thrivecart account. What I'm gonna do is, so it kind of, you know, that brings you to this dashboard when you first log in. You're gonna go to products. You're going to click edit. You're going to click checkout and then tracking. And for this um, particular software, you just need the Facebook pixel ID. You can see that my pixel ID is already there. So you just need that number. So again, if you need a refresher, just go back to your data sources, click on the pixel, and then you can go to the data set ID section and copy it there. And then you would want to paste all of your, um, that entire number right in there. Um, you can enable conversions API, but you will need your API access code um, optional to you. But if I if I was basically running ads to a particular funnel with like order bumps and upsells and downsells in Thrivecart, I would personally want to combine the purchase events because otherwise for every purchase that happens throughout the funnel when you're running ads, it's going to fire or indicate that 
each individual purchase, even though it's the same from the same customer, it's going to count as an individual purchase in your ads, which you don't want. So you want to basically essentially be tracking on the front end and ads manager, just the um, top of funnel purchase that happens initially from the ads. Otherwise, everything's going to be inflated and your ad campaign is it's going to look amazing. But in reality, it's actually probably not converting as well as it should be. Okay, then after you place a pixel ID, you're going to click save and get URL. And then what I would do from here is preview the URL link in another browser. So you can click view checkout and it will bring it into another browser in a new tab. And then you can verify that the pixel is firing that way. So again, Meta Pixel Hopper, free Chrome extension. All you have to do is click on it and you should have a green page view check. Let's see, I have a weird pixel firing. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> for Thrivecart, um, it will automatically populate and initiate checkout event. Um, it's yellow, it's showing yellow right now, but once they start filling out the information, then it should change. But that's how you verify a Thrivecart pixel. For Meta. Okay, next. Next software we're gonna go into is lead pages. And for this one, we're gonna need the entire base code. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is go into events manager. Get the manually um, get the manual code and copy it. And from your dashboard. You're just gonna click on landing pages and go to the specific page that you want to place the pixel code on. Ideally, this should be on all pages. Okay, for this example, I'm gonna click on one of these pages. I'm gonna click the pencil edit icon. Once you are in the edit mode in the page that you want to edit, you're gonna go to settings on the left-hand side, then go to analytics, scroll down to the head section tracking code, and that's where you're going to copy and paste your entire Facebook pixel code. As you can see, it's already in here. From here, what we're gonna do is click update. That's going to save the changes that you made to the page. Then you can view the page immediately after you updated and saved changes, and it will bring that page into a separate tab. So that way you can preview it and verify that that metal pixel is firing. Okay, so this pixel for whatever reason is showing yellow at the moment. I am gonna troubleshoot it later, but this is essentially how you would view the meta pixel on lead pages. So moving on, last but not least, we're going to log in to show it here. Once you're logged in, you're gonna pick the website that you obviously want to edit. And unfortunately for show it, there is no way to paste your pixel in one spot and it, you know, basically globally updates everything on your site. So what I would recommend is when you first start building your site, start with one page, go into advanced settings. I'm going to show you where that is in a second and then paste the, paste the pixel there, publish it, and then duplicate or clone each page moving forward. However, if you have already have a site set up, hopefully you don't have as many pages as I do. Um, it's just gonna be like a copy and paste and publishing and, and updating every single individual page. But for this um, example purpose, you wanna click on the page that you want to add a pixel to. So right now we're on the home page. If you go to the immediate right-hand side, there is an advanced settings section and you want to basically click in the custom head HTML section. And here's where you want to paste your base code. So I have all the codes in here, but you can see my metal pixel code is already placed here. You just want to click save, publish, and then you want to bring that URL into a different browser. You don't want to preview because it's going to be previewed um, in your own show it account, you want to bring it into a different browser. So just click on the three dots next to your page, copy the page URL, paste it in another browser, 
Once your page loads, click on the Metapixel helper and you should see a green check in a page view conversion event for your website. All right, that's it. There you have it. We have finished the video covering placing the Metapixel on all five different softwares. Today, we showed you how to place your Metapixel on the back end of Kajabi, Kartra, Thrivecart, Lead Pages, and Show It. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you have a recommendation for other softwares for a part two of the series of placing the Metapixel on the back end of your funnel softwares and websites, comment below with your suggestions for the next video. Thanks for watching.